Well, hi, JD here again with a, uh, a non-car finance related video, but I thought I'd do a little bit of a walk round the Macan Diesel S that I've just bought. Um, obviously, at the moment, we're not really supposed to be going out. We're all self-isolating, so I'm not going to abuse that. Obviously, I'm not going to go for a drive, but I will do uh, a bit of a driving review in a few weeks time, hopefully. But I just thought I'd show you some of the features of this car um, whilst it's in the garage. OK, so as I said, this is a Macan Diesel S. It's a 2016-66. Um, it was purchased from Porsche Centre Reading um, about a month ago now. Um, and the one thing that I like this, this really caught my eye, was the fact that it had the beautiful 21-inch satin platinum wheels. Um, as you can see, um, not a wheel that I would normally have spec'd. Certainly if I was buying one of these new, I would never, never pay the three and a half thousand pound premium for these wheels but it was the only one in the dealer network at the time that actually had these wheels on i think they're really really nice they've got a beautiful hopefully i can keep this in focus beautiful satin finish hence the name satin platinum they seem to clean up really really well um, this had new discs and pads fitted um, when i purchased it so that's all good um, tires are Pirelli, uh, what are they? These are 265 4021s on the front and on the back of the car, I think they're a little bit wider. Yeah, 295 3521s. Oh, excuse the shaky hand there. Um, what else has this car got? It's got privacy glass, um, it's got the black um, roof rails, it's got the black exterior. Uh, package. I don't know if it's a package, but it, it it's basically obviously black rather than chrome, which I think looks really quite smart. You can opt for these plastic kind of it's almost like a golf ball effect plastic trim. You can actually have those painted in the same body colour, but with a grey car. I don't really know why you'd want to bother because they're grey anyway. Um, we'll go inside in a minute. Let me show you the rest of the outside. Um, it's got four exhaust pipes. Um, I have cleaned those up a bit, um, even though it's a diesel. I don't really know why you'd have four exhaust pipes, but it looks quite nice. Um, as you can see, Porsche Macan S. It's got a powered tailgate. Um, and people, when they go on about this on videos, they seem to think it's a secret, but <laughs> as though they discovered something new. But the button for the tailgate is there, so you just push that. Let's step back a little bit. A decent sized boot. I got this boot liner off eBay for about 20 quid. The nice thing about the boot is it's a 60, sorry, it's a 40 20 40 split. So that was really useful last week when I was transporting a large rug. I was able to just put it down the centre, so that's quite nice. Just here, um, you've got a few buttons. One is to, because this car's got the optional air suspension, you can drop the back end. So let me see if I can show you that. So if you press this button, I think it's this one. I think you have to hold it down. Let me see if I can get at the side of the car to show you that going down. Let's try, let's go up again. I think that's working. Difficult to see. You might see it on one of the other cameras. Let's see if I'll do it again. Let's see if we can get it on one of the other cameras. There we go. And you can actually see that it's gone down quite significantly at the back. So that's quite useful if you've got dogs jumping in or you know a lot of shopping to get in. Let me just inflate it back up. There we go. I think that's it. Now the other button, again, not something that I would have ever opted on a car, is believe it or not, for the Thunderbird style um, electrically retractable tow bar. So if I press this button here, and hopefully you will start to see Mr. Tobar. I can hear it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's coming, folks. Here we go. That's something out of Thunderbirds, this is. And then it straightens up. Hopefully the camera's picking this up okay from the angle I'm standing. And there we go. Now I thought to myself, why on earth would I want a tow bar? I would never pay for it. I think it's about an £800 option. But actually, 
because I've got a couple of mountain bikes, um, I'm going to buy myself a uh, bike rack for the tow bar. So I've actually got a use for it now. This is now flashing away. I'm not sure why, but let's press this one. And off she goes. I'll probably find the batteries flat when I've done all this video. And there we go. Isn't that cool? Up here, you've got two buttons. Now, I don't know why this is, and I might be mistaken. Let's see if we can get this in focus. Um, some, some videos I've seen have only got this button here. But this car has got two. And what it is, is one shuts the tailgate, and one shuts and locks it. So that's quite handy, I guess, if you've got out the car, you then go to the boot, and then you walk away from the car, and you just want to lock it as well. So fairly obvious. It won't let you do that, though, if the keys are in the car or if the ignition's on, I think. It will keep stopping. I found that the other day. I hope this is in focus for you. So let's just press this one to shut the tailgate. The nice thing is you can change the stop point of the tailgate. So because I'm in the garage here, if it was fully opened, it would probably bang on the ceiling of the garage. So you can literally program the stop point. So that's quite nifty. Um, in the back, you won't be able to see a lot because I've got my dog crate in here at the moment this is quite cool bought this off ebay it's just like a quilted thing that goes on the back of the seats the front of the seats stops the dog scratching your doors hopefully that's the idea in theory anyway um, another option this car's got is the sun blinds at the back so they just literally slot out and if i can get them in with my right arm can i do that oh bear with me i'm going to swap hands bear with me folks there we go. So they're quite nice. Um, again, I don't know, £200 option or something when it was new. Not that I'd have spec'd them, but again, nice to have. It's got the Bose sound system. So you can see the Bose logo down there. I'll show you that better in the front. So let's get inside the car. This car has got the, I don't know what you call it. It's kind of a half leather package. So it's got the leather dash with the nice deviated stitching on here. And it's got leather on the handles here, but not on the top of the doors. So normally, without this at all, the top of the dashboard would be like this. But it is quite a nice feature to have the... Uh, let me see if I can zoom in on there. So it just has that kind of leather stitching on the top of the dash, which is quite nice. What else has this car got then? So this is agate grey inside, so a little bit different. Normally, you know, probably the most common one would be black. I thought it was black until I bought it, and there's actually a quite a nice surprise that it's actually the uh, agate grey. So it's slightly, it's almost a, it's almost like a pale, pale brown in a way. It's quite nice. Um, it's got the Sport Chrono package. Again, a bit pointless on a diesel perhaps, but it's nice to have it, which gives you the clock like I had on the 911. Let's go down the center console as you can see there's a plethora of buttons on here most of them are for the heating controls so all of this top side is heating gives you dual zone climate i tend to just have it on automatic you can have individual or uh synced sides let me just turn that on oh key not found my keys outside one thing i should say this has got a uh, porsche key and drive entry and drive something like that so it has this fake kind of key here which until recently i didn't realize you could actually take out somehow i don't know how they did it when i went when i took it to the dealers recently they'd taken that out but you get like a permanent key there it won't start at the moment because the key's outside in the garage so i shall go and get that in a minute but essentially you've got all your heating controls then down here you've got sport sport plus you've got the uh, active suspension management there's three settings on this unlike the two on the 911 you've got your air suspension that drops the suspension down it also automatically goes down when you're in sport plus mode as well traction control auto start stop uh, lane departure warning something like that off-road button which basically lifts the car up and does something with the gearing I think um, it's also got the memory package so you get your, if I can zoom in on this, you get your two memories, which you can also lock onto the uh, key. So you can, if you, you and your partner, say, using the car, you can have a different setting on each key. Uh, 
it's got, as I said, it's got the Bose sound system, which I have to say is fantastic compared to the Bose system I had in the 911. I think the reason for that is apparently the 911, and it might not be true, but I'd read somewhere that they uh, don't have speakers in the back. Um, because this is a generally a much quieter car, the Bose sound system is far, far superior than I had in the 911. This has got the latest, or not the latest, the later um, PCM. So this is PCM4. So this is the, the same one that I had in my no it's not actually it's the same one that i had in the 718 that i was going to buy in 2016 um same uh, thing it has got connect plus this car so you've got two slots for memory cards so i've got one with some music on you can put your own sim in a data sim and that will give you i think google live updates or something or other i don't bother with that because this has actually got apple carplay as well so in the armrest here, you've got the usual USB connector. Um, I bought myself a right-angled right lightning connector um, simply because... Is that going to focus? Focus, please. I think that's in focus. Um, simply because, in effect, what this car's got is when you put your phone in the armrest, it's got this little bracket here and apparently you put that in there and it then uses the whole car as an antenna which is quite nifty but i found that with my iphone 7 in a case you couldn't really get it in and also get the lightning connector in so hence the uh, right angled cable okay i'm just going to pause the video for a second i'm just going to get the key so i can show you a few more features right folks i'm back so i've now got the key um, and as I said, it's, en it's Porsche engine drive, so you don't need the key in the ignition. Um, let's just start it up. I've just recently filled this, and you can see how economical it is. So I've done, this is just on my standard commute to work, I've done 37 miles since I filled it, and the range is still saying 506 miles. This has got the 75 litre tank. Um, but even so, I'm averaging about 31, 32 out of this compared to about 20 in the 911. I'll just rev it a little bit and you'll see how smooth and quiet this car is. You would not know that was a diesel. Let's just see if it changes when I go into Sport Plus. Not a lot, you see. And you'll notice, actually, this might be a good demo. What I'll do, I'll just come out of Sport Plus. Let's see if you can see the front of the car going up and down when I change the air suspension. So I'm going to drop it now. And I'll try and hold, try and get the horizon of the dashboard. You should see the suspension going down a little bit. Whether you can see that or not. If you look at the bottom of those two lights, going up now it's not a lot but it does do it let's turn the engine off for a minute um, I'll do a separate video one day on this you know, it's pretty standard stuff um, you've got uh, DAB radio um, you've got touch screen quite responsive the navs a lot better than I had on the previous one you can type in full postcodes um, as I say, it's got Apple CarPlay, it's got a built-in hard drive, you can obviously stream via Bluetooth, Jukebox is the hard drive, AM, FM, DAB radio, SD card, that will play music from the SD slots down here. Um, as I said, a really, what I will say, and I'll, do, I'll talk more about this when I, when I do the driving video, this is the most comfortable and quietest and smoothest car I've ever driven. There are no rattles. It's like almost driving on a big, big balloon, a big cloud. The air suspension, don't let the fact that it's got 21 inch wheels put you off. The ride, I had a KN on loan for a couple of days recently and that had 19 inch wheels and it this rides better on 21s. It's a phenomenally comfortable car. It really is. Um, 
This has got the 18 way. Oh, there's another thing that a lot of the McCarns didn't have that I was looking at. This has got the 18 way um, adjustable seats rather than the 14 way. So if we just nip outside the car again, you just get a few more controls. If you've got all this adjustment, um, you can extend all sorts of things. This does the front cushion. You can see that's going in and out. I like to have that all the way out. And I don't really know what the others do. What's that doing? I think that's something to do with the side bolsters. Obviously usual back and forwards and all sorts of things. So loads of different controls on that. They are super comfy. Super comfy seats. Got the multifunction steering wheel, the new design steering wheel. The only thing this hasn't got is if you have the heated steering wheel, there's a little button at the back here for your heated steering wheel control. This hasn't got that. Has got auto lights. One thing I would say that this car is pretty lousy for is the headlights. I would have thought that a car of this stature would have Xenon or LED headlights as standard. Unfortunately, it doesn't. So that's one thing I was disappointed about. It doesn't have Xenon headlights. My wife's Mini has far better lights than this car. But apart from that, it's a brilliant, brilliant car. Let's have a quick look at the engine. I don't know whether I like these. I might take these diesel badges off. It's an awful font. Let's have a look in the engine. Not that there's a lot to see. Oh. Very clean, but there's not a lot to see. Uh, three litre V6 diesel. One thing that is, is nice on this is this clamshell bonnet. You can see that the bonnet goes all the way down to the wings, wraps right round the headlights, and you can see up here, it's a really clever piece of engineering to make a panel like this. It fits all the way around the front of the car. Shut that. So yeah, if you have any questions about the car you'd like to ask, please fire away. Please comment and subscribe as usual. Um, and once we're able to, I'll get a driving video. We'll go out for a bit of a drive, do a little bit of a review that way as well. Thanks for watching as usual. I'll see you next time.